Drew Brown with The Vacation Company is back, and we were just saying before we started how fast time is flying. I know. End of the first quarter already. How is that possible? I can't believe it either. I know. It just goes, like, I guess the older I get, the faster it goes. Is that true? To totally agree. Oh, totally agree. Yeah. It's, it, it, Days are like minutes and weeks are like hours. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So that means we are like really about to be in your busiest time of the year, although yes. it already feels busy out there if you're yes. driving around. Yes. So tell us about how it looks, how it looks for heritage, all that good stuff. Sure. So really kind of starting, uh, this is one of the last weeks in, in March and this is when we really start to see our spring breakers, you know, for us. Uh, we'll have over 300 uh, reservations that arrive in the next week and then over 340 the following week wow. you know so yeah so we'll have roughly over 2,000 people uh, that we're just just our little companies bringing to the island in the that next is couple amazing weeks. yeah that is so, a really big number and then and like you said you know we're within the 30-day countdown of, of the heritage which is right. really really interesting to see we're super excited about for the 51st heritage but it's going to be uh, another really busy time frame and and the the week after heritage this year is actually what we would call Easter week so there's a lot of action happening here at the end of March, right. and then there's going to be a lot of action towards the middle of, of April, which is great from both a vacation rental and a real estate perspective. Yeah, well, and you touched on it, but it is an interesting thing where it, it's always an interesting year when it's Easter Sunday and yes. Heritage Sunday. Right. Yeah, because you're just, it's crazy those two weeks. Step yes. to start in those two weeks. Yeah, exa yeah. exactly. It is wide open, as we would say. Yes. So it's, it'll be really interesting to see. Um, I'm really excited actually to see how many people will show up for the, the sunrise service on the 18th tee or 18th green of, of uh, the Harbor Town course because it's just going to be so many people here in town. Right. And you it's know, Easter. Exactly. Hundreds of thousands of people. So, so even if you don't normally go to church, right. you, you know, it's Easter. So exactly. you kind of do that on yeah, Easter. Yeah, exactly. And if you're here, you know, Why not? what a better place to be exactly. than on the 18th Why not? green. Exactly. Yeah. So how are you seeing bookings going from the Heritage? Are you pretty full? Uh, almost. So Sea Pines is, is, is massively booked. Uh, it's filling in the rest of the island. Um, one of the things that we were just talking about as well is the amount of people that are really booking at the last minute. Yes. Uh, you know, for us putting over 10% uh, into those over 300 plus arrivals in the last five days. So, so we're really seeing such short windows and as we talk, people's schedules are changing, yeah. spring break schedules are changing, sports and activities that, that the kids are involved in are always changing. So it's really interesting to see uh, you still have these people that have these massive plans that want to appear, you know, plan over a year out, and then we get people that are booking days before they're coming. Yeah, well, I think sometimes people are just afraid to pull the trigger. It's like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, what if something comes up? So right. they just kind of wait till that last minute. Right. Yeah. Very true, and, yeah. and that's and that's what we see in the booking patterns. So, uh, and that's also just leading kind of into you know the, the summertime is is is. is with advanced bookings, the advanced bookings are up, you know, over 15%, but, you know, it's again then working to fill in the rest of the time frames for the rest of the properties and the rest of the island as well. So, yeah. um, you still see that there's a lot of availability, so if people want to come, you want to come down to Hilton Head for... All is not for, lost. Yeah, there's for the still summer. room. Yeah, there's, you know, <laughs> the, the inn is not full. We're yeah. happy to have We've got some room. We've yeah. got some room. So, what does that mean for the real estate market itself, though? Right. So, right now, what we're really seeing, in, 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 for instance, I have three or four people that are saying, uh, I've reached out and said, I'm going to be in town during the Easter or Spring Break time frame. Here's my budget. What's the best property that I can find? So we're still seeing a really active real estate market from an investment standpoint uh, for short-term rentals. You know, people are, the, the ordinary investor is a lot more savvy these days in terms of trying to understand what do my returns need to be? What are my holding costs going to be? How do I make this work for me? Mm -hmm. uh, because the idea of retirement is completely different these days. People are working longer, but they want to be able to have the opportunity to maybe say, hey, why don't I work part of the year in Hilton Head, right. uh, and how do I offset my holding costs for that? So, uh, but it is. It's, it's, it's a great thing for the real estate market just because it just adds so much consistency when you add this kind of, um, when you mix up this beautiful cocktail that is real estate and vacation rentals, mm -hmm. you know, uh, people really, really seem to enjoy it. Well, and something I think we've mentioned before, but it bears repeating, is that if you are thinking about it, now is a good time because Correct. you still have time, like you said, to get those bookings in for right. the summer. Exactly. The average, 90, average uh, or closing time frame is 90 days, so that puts you right now uh, sometime in June or, or early July. July is the biggest month of the year. Right. June is going to be the second biggest month of the year, so you still do have an opportunity to walk into a good bit of revenue that helps you offset those holding costs. Yes. That's a great point. 
So if somebody wants help with all of that from yes. you, how do yeah. they do that? Yeah. So uh, you can just reach out or call. Um, so 800-545-3303 or our website, which is just vacationcompany.com. Thanks, Drew. It's always great to see you.